Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to do a yarn review on Red Heart's Roll With It Melange. Now, it's a relatively new yarn, but it's been out for a little bit, so some of you probably have already used it. But for those of you that haven't and want to learn more about it, that's why I'm here. So it's a Red Heart a Roll With It Melange. It is a 100% acrylic yarn. There are 5.29 ounces or 150 grams per cake, 389 yards or 356 meters. All right, it's made in India. It is classified as a medium weight number four. Crochet recommended hook size is a 5.5 and a knitting needle is a five millimeter. You can machine wash on warm, tumble dry on low, do not over dry, do not iron and do not bleach. All right. So when you look at it, it's the colors, they are available as of now in 10 different colors. All the colors are very, very beautiful. It, in my opinion, they're all very pretty. When you feel it, it's not rough. It is a roving type of yarn, if you look at it. Roving, you can see it's spun like solid. There's no separate strands together. So, similar yarns to this would be like um, Lion Brand Landscapes, but not shiny. Red Heart Unforgettable, but this is not shiny. Um, Lion Brand Scarfy would be similar. Um, and um, so, yarns like that are all type of roving yarns, if you're familiar with any of those. Okay. Um, let's see. If it has a pattern on it. On the inside, I believe it does. Pattern on back. Yeah, it does come with a pattern. And of course, redheart.com is actually Yarnspirations now. Yarnspirations bought Red Heart. So, redheart.com is now Yarnspirations. But, they still have the Red Heart name. So, I did a little crocheting with it. And I have the recommended hook size, which is the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now it crochets like I expected that it would. It crochets just fine. I'm having no trouble with it splitting at all. It's not catching on itself. It just seems to crochet just fine. I would say it is pretty much a four weight, but it is one of those yarns that has a tendency to go from thick to thin not extremely bad like some yarns are real bad about it this is this mild and I don't think it's enough to even be a nuisance but yeah it actually crochets really well I love a roving and type of yarns I think they're very pretty roving types of yarns are some of my favorites but as you can see I'm having no trouble crocheting with it it's just crocheting very easy. The stitch definition is there. You can see my bobbles really well. And it's soft enough. You know, it's not like cashmere soft. But it's soft enough, not itchy. You could wear it right on your, you know, right on your neck. You can make a scarf out of it and it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother you or anything. Did I say that it was 100% acrylic? I can't remember if I said that. But yeah, so crochet's fine. Feels fine. Does it come undone easily? Let's see if you make a mistake. That surprises me. I did not think that it would. But it seems to be coming un undoing just fine for me. Wow. All the way to the end. I didn't expect that. So yeah, it frogs well if you make a mistake. So I have five of the ten colors here. Um, this one is, this is one of them. And it is called 
green room. Ain't that pretty? This one is called a theater. Another very pretty one. It's very fall looking. This one. They're all gorgeous. Showtime. I think they are. They're so pretty. Very pretty. And then we got autograph. You can see the fuzz on it. It makes it look like it has wool in it, but it doesn't. It is 100% acrylic. And the last one I got is called Curtain Call. That's very fall looking to get some of my juices flowing. I thought I can make with that. Very pretty. So um, when I looked online, it seems to be available a lot of places. Um, and the average price, I got this at Hobby Lobby, and the average price of it seems to be about $6.99. That's about what it runs. Um, except for on yarnspirations.com, it's, it's more. But, you know, it's always going to be more on those type of sites. But at Hobby Lobby is where I bought mine, and it's $6.99 per cake. For 389 yards of 100% acrylic roving type of yarn. The colors are very pretty. They're very saturated. They're put together very well. There was not a color that I did not like. The other five colors are just as beautiful as these. Um, is it worth $6.99? Well, you never want to pay full price if you don't have to. I went to Hobby Lobby when they have, you know how Hobby Lobby has 30% off every other week? And I paid, I got it for 30% off of $6.99. $6.99 is a little high, in my opinion. Uh, maybe if you could get it down closer to the $5 range, it would probably be um, satisfactory for the type of yarn it is. For how beautiful and well put together it is. But I really, I really like it a lot. Now, if you like the types of yarns such as, like I said, Scarfy and Unforgettable and, um, you know, roving type of yarns like that, you're really going to like this yarn. I just can't say it enough how unbeatable the colors are. Very gorgeous. I love all of them equally. I don't think I could pick one over the other. But I think Red Heart did a very good job with this yarn but i think five dollars would be about what i'd want to pay for it so when i'm i will go get the other five colors at hobby lobby but i'll wait till they have the 30 percent off to do that um but like i said they do sell it online other places but never pay full price if you don't have to but okay so i'm not affiliated with red heart or yarn inspirations now um at all um i do not have affiliated links with them. I do not get paid if you buy their yarns. I bought all this yarn myself. They did not give it to me. So my reviews are always 100% honest, but they are just my opinions. My opinions, you know, they could be different from yours and that's fine. I'm always welcome to hear your opinions on the yarn in the comment section. Just because I like this yarn, I love these type of yarns. It could be the worst yarn that you ever tried. So I always recommend to just try, if you haven't tried it yet, just get one ball when it's on sale or one cake when it's on sale and give it a go. Because you might not like it. But then again, you might love it. Like me. So what I want to know in the comment section is, have you tried this yet? I would imagine a, quite a few of you have. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Love it? Or is it just okay? Or do you just absolutely hate it? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I think Red Heart did a very good job with this. I really like it. And I'll buy it again at Hobby Lobby when it's 30% off. And I will get the other five colors that I'm missing. And I can think of some very pretty projects. Something Evelyn would love. Something out of this. This would make nice fall projects. Just very, very gorgeous yarn. It is a really pretty yarn. So I do recommend you give it a try. I think... 
that if you like the roving type of yarns, you know, you're going to, you're going to fall in love with this one. So that's it. That's my review. I love it. What do you think about it? And if, and if you haven't tried it yet, take a peek on yarnspirations.com at the colors and stuff and check out how pretty they are. Let me know what you think. Do you think the colors that I've showed so far are, are pretty? I think they're breathtaking. Beautiful. Very well put together yarn. So Red Heart, you got me on this one. I'm hooked. I'm going to buy it again. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.